Hola, namaste. This is Priyanka Vanga from Sutra. What got me started after almost two decades of corporate life. I deal with vision issues, very severe vision issues, both hereditary as well as caused by an injury. It's given me the grounding, the flexibility. Through the Vinyasa Yoga Flow practice, one breath, one movement, I do it as my passion, as my purpose, in amplifying this wellness to others around us. up flow as you start your day and energize your full body. So let's start seated comfortably. You can have the knees facing forward or seated in a comfortable cross-legged position. Palms facing up in a position of receiving. Shoulders rolling out open. Breathe and gently close your eyes. Starting your day with a happy smile, relaxing, feeling the breath as you wake up your body with this fresh energy, starting your day fresh, starting your day happy. Let's gently stretch the palms up and slowly bring them down, pausing in between the elbows your throat, your heart, opening up to your belly and releasing this energy back and stretching up once again. Breathe, lengthen, keep the buttocks grounded as you reach up a little higher and exhale, bring the palms down, back down to your knees. Slowly release the chin to your chest. Let's breathe in for all. As you inhale, look forward, look up, open your eyes. And gently open your eyes as you look forward. Breathing in and out. Let's start to take the breath to our neck. Inhaling, exhaling. Let's do a couple of times on either side. Breathing in and out. Letting the neck drop heavy in the front. And let's lift sides. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Inhale. Take it back. Exhale. Release. It's forward. Let's stretch the palms up and rotate. Reach over to one side. Once again, keep the buttocks rounded as you reach forward. Maybe walk forward on your fingertips. Inhale, the hands close back up and give yourself a hug, opening the front side of your body, lifting up. Exhale, curl the elbows towards your belly button. Inhale, spread this energy out and up and let's rotate, reach over to the opposite side, reaching forward. Slowly roll back in, switch the crossing of your elbows and rise up once again. Exhaling, empty the belly out, release the elbows, release the neck. Stretch up, palms facing forward this time and now palms facing up. Morning, wake up, stretch and let's extend this forward. So keep the back flat, keep extending forward, 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 reach down. And let's start to walk back with our fingertips, breathing in. Rolling the shoulders open, rising up one vertebra at a time. Inhaling, exhaling. Let's swing back, stretch the palms up, 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 as comfortably you can take them up. No forcing, no pressure. Switch the palms to face out, maybe lift a little higher if you can. And once again, let's empty out and surrender to the earth. Breathe. If your forehead doesn't reach the mat, totally all right. Just reach, let it relax wherever it reaches. Keep stretching behind you. If it feels too much, release the palms and bring them down forward. Maybe that's in your forehead and forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, releasing the palms to either side. And let's 
Extend over to one side. Go as deep as you can. Stretching your side body. Reaching over, reaching over. Maybe reach for your opposite ear. And look under the elbow. Inhale, lift with the breath. Reach over to the opposite side. Breathe. And release it out. Maybe you want to give yourself wrist rolls. Fingertips open and close. Rotations. Happy for you to even rotate your shoulders up and down. Breathe. Things that you forget to do during the day sometimes. Maybe even bring the elbows together. Have some fun today. Inhaling. Lifting with the breath. Exhale. Remember to stay with your breath as you move through the practice. Vinyasa. One movement. One breath. As you move through your day, remember to breathe. And let's stretch up. Exhale, bring the palms down forward as you uncross your legs, preparing for neutral tabletop. Butt directly over the knees, toes extended out. Core is engaged, palms down, eyes of the elbows pointing forward. Wrist, elbow, shoulder, one straight line. And let's start to wake the spine up with cat cows, breathing in and exhaling, lift the belly up. Inhale, Bhittilasana, cow pose. Exhale, tuck in your toes and stretch. One more. Inhale. Always have the option to just pause the video. Keep moving with your breath if you wish to stay longer. Maybe stretch a little deeper depending on how your back is feeling. And come back to the neutral and neutral tabletop. Extend the right hand out and kick the left leg back. Ballerina feet, palms facing to the inside, thumbs facing up. And as you exhale, curl and staying steady on the opposite hand and leg. Breathing and releasing it. And one. Curling, round the spine, release it out and this time let's release the palm down and extend. So as if you're pushing your heel back, stretch and release. Breathe. Inhaling, sending the energy back through your legs, through your heels, extending and coming back to neutral and releasing the knee back in. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale, exhale, come in. Three, lengthening with the breath, breath flowing from your belly to your fingertips, to your toes, and then coming back to center, and extend out, release the palm down, and let's take the stretch of the calf to the other side, stretch in front and back. Remember, keeping the belly engaged helps your lower back, staying strong and steady, and always smiling, breathing. Three, two, one. Come back in. Let's get the big toes together and extend back out. Child's pose, Bayasana. Maybe your butt doesn't reach back comfortably. You can slide a cushion under or just shimmy your butt back and stretch it out. Let's stretch out in the front. Centering yourself as you release your forehead down. Once again, if it feels too much, make sense to rest your forehead on top. Walk your hands out to the left side. Right palm comes on top of the left, stretching out. Inhaling, exhaling. Take it to the other side. And release the palms out. Once again, if you wish to stay for another breath, maybe take the palms to the outside of your feet. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, letting the spine lengthen from the tailbone to your neck, to your cervical area. Big toes together, heels rolling up, palms relax, shoulders relax, knees and ankles relax. Slowly, wake up your body, bring the palms forward, and let's roll forward one vertebrae at a time. Breathing in, maybe adding in a couple of cat cows. Inhale, exhale, come back in. Stay 
sitting back in neutral. We're going to work on our wrist. We're going to get the wrist facing inward so that your palms face up and your fingertips point back. Maybe you want to walk them out clockwise, anti-clockwise, full circles, or just as much as you can do, and release back down. Let's take it to the other side. Once again, fingers pointing back, palms facing up, and rotate side to side. Full rotation, front and back, or part, as much feels comfortable, and come back in. Let's start to rotate and release the lower back as we circle the hips back. Once again, breathe as you move back. Brush against your heels. Come back to center. Switching sides. Moving at your own pace. Breathe, moving with your own breath. Inhaling, exhaling, release. Let's tuck in our toes. Breathe. And start to lift as you exhale into a short down dog. First one for today, Abho Mukha Shwanasana. Be gentle to yourself, maybe pedal your feet out. As you release one wheel down and then the other, the head in between your upper arms. Breathing in and out. And let's release back down. This time, let's open the knees out, adding in some hip opening as we come down into wide-legged balasana child's pose you can bring the thumb and index finger together reconnecting with the earth with the energy as you release your forehead down breathe and once again keep the fists one on top of another inhale exhale elbows keep pressing the knees out open Body is resting on the heels, roll the cushion. And gently, when you're ready, extend out. Get the knees to point forward and let's roll back in very slowly, one vertebra at a time. Adding in a couple more cat cows. Rolling the spine up and in. And press the mat away strongly and lift up this time maybe try to walk the dog lengthening the dog out extending walking your feet back hands forward a bit stretch 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 breathe starting to add some strength to your stretching and slowly to be doing your feet to the front of the mat folding forward inhale start to rise up stretch the palms up Exhale, releasing down to heart center. Make any adjustments that you need to. Maybe grab a sip of water before we start to move through some gentle sun salutations. Waking up the full body with the morning sun. Breathing. Standing tall in Tadasana. Palms facing forward, mountain pose. Inhale, rise up. Upita Hastasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Give me a flat back. Exhale, release down. Let's take the right foot back. Extend the toes out, rising up. Low lunge, Anjani Asana. The low lunge variation with the knee back down and slowly straighten the front leg as you try to release the chin, the nose down onto the knee. Breathe. Inhale, open up, and this time, let's bring the palms in, walk the foot out slightly, as you open the side up, use your left hand to open the left knee up, breathe, maybe you want to reach back for your back foot, reaching for the ankle towards your butt, if it feels too much, just reach back, add a twist, and release. Let's take this foot back, preparing for our vinyasa. Going down for bhujangasana. I'll give two options, releasing the back and the chest down and sliding up like a cobra, bhujangasana. Or keep the core engaged as you keep the butt up and go down using your upper body strength. Going down with the chest and sliding up. 
एक्सेल लेफ्ट अप आदो मुखा शाला खुलो डाउन फिर यो फिंडा ब्रीड टू बी टू यो फीट टू द फ्रंट ऑफ द मैट फोल्डिंग फॉरवर्ड लेटिंग गो लेट योर बेली रेस्ट इन द थाइस इनहेल हाफ वे एक्सेल रिलीज एंड राइज अप उज्जवल हस्ता खुलो एक्सेल हैंड्स टू हार्ट सेंटर रिलीज लेट्स टेक इट टू द अदर साइड Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, release it back down. This time, let's take the left foot back. Release the knee down and stretch up. Maybe you start to add a bit of a back bend, opening the chest up. Breathe. Inhaling, exhaling, release. Release the palm. The right palm inside the right foot as you walk the foot out and open the knee up. Working on some hip opening. Breathe. Inhale the right hand up. Release it back down. Maybe once again, if you're feeling flexible or one side feeling more flexible than another, than the other, pull the foot in towards the back. It feels too much. Let's do it here. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the knee in. Palm steady, elbows, eyes of the elbows forward, and let's take the right hand back. Breathe, preparing for your vinyasa, releasing down, sliding up. Variation, maybe you want to go down with the back. Inhale and come up, high cobra. Let's stay here. Maybe open the arms out a bit wider, but once again, eyes of the elbows forward, elbows close to the chest. Let's release down and rise up like a wave. Exhale back, chest close, come forward, releasing down, rising up, exhaling back. Maybe to release the back back, you need to walk your hands back, come forward, exhaling. Good for building upper body strength as you continue progressing your process, adding more strength poses. Breathe. Last one. Maybe this time you want to try to take the chest down. Slide up. Breathe. Smile with your shoulders. Chest opening. Exhale and come back in. Tuck in your toes. Lift up. Lift from the butt and slowly let the breath. The weight of the breath, release the knees. If the heels don't reach it fully, totally all right. Stay where you are. Keep pressing as much as you can. And let's walk this down dog. Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Inward the knees. And start to take it on your feet forward. Exhaling out fully. Inhale halfway. Exhale, release. Rise up, Udva. Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center and down. Breathing in and out. Standing tall. Let's bring the hands to our hips and we'll start to add some hip opening. A couple of times. Lift with the breath. Exhale down and switch. Inhaling. Exhale. And the other side. Lifting, releasing, maybe alternating, breathing in and out. A lot of us with our commutes, with our work, need a lot of lower back release. So just adding some standing figure force, excellent for your lower back release. Also something that you can do through your day as and when you find a quiet spot. So cross over, toes outside the knees. Ankles over the opposite knee, standing figure four. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Option to add some squats in if you want to do a bit of strength work this morning. Also an option to just fold forward, letting go, maybe going a little deeper as your left upper arm opens the left knee out. Breathe, three, two, one. 
cross the foot over and let's rise back up together stretching up uncross the legs and let's take it to the other side breathing in and out inhale if you're squatting with me go down here if you wish to go down all the way fall from the hips release down and let's release the foot out in two more breaths or sooner if you need to exhaling down inhaling sliding up exhale uncross the legs and pedal your feet out let's kick one leg out rotate at the ankle flex and extend wriggle your toes a lot of us forget to do it wearing shoes every day all day and bring it back in let's take it to the other side flex and extend rotate extending the breath to any areas that you're feeling tight in your feet playing around with your toes and bring it in pedal your feet out breathing in and out and let's continue the flow inhale this time let's add an utkatasana chair pose opening the hands out option rotate down inhale no long holds this morning over to the other side inhale reach up exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift ardha uttanasana press the palms down take the left foot back and then the right release the knees down let's come down together for our vinyasa stretching up this time we're going to lift the palms an inch off the mat keep the toes extended out feet together knees off the mat thighs rolling in holding here pressing the belly against the earth keep looking forward but not straining your neck in one straight line focus on the spine working on the lower back as you lift up pressing the belly against the earth you can even put your hands on your lower back 3 Two, one. Gently release the palms down. Take a long breath in. Stretch up. Tuck in your toes. Exhale. Abhu Mukha Shwarasana. We come down. Do a couple more rounds of work on our lower back. So now let's take a few breaths in down dog. Breathing in and out. You can also bend both knees, crouching and stretching. Breathe and exhale. Breathe. Let's do it together once more. Crouching down, going as deep as you can, and then slowly moving up. And then let's release the knees down. Come down for cobra. Low cobra, rising up. This time we're going to take our hands out forward for Superman. As I said, continuing the work on our lower back. Let's lift the right hand up, left leg up, keeping both frontal hip bones pressing down. Breathe and switch. Inhaling, exhaling. Take it to the other side. Inhale, lift up, exhale, release, and up and down. Last one. We're gonna lift all four limbs off the mat. Put palms up, toes pointed. Five, four, three, two, one. Gently bring the palms in and slowly slide up. Exhale, Adho Mukha Swarasana. Down. Couple of breaths here. Maybe holding steady. Maybe lengthening the dog if you can. He's starting to feel more warmed up. Breathe. Look forward. Repeat on your feet. In between your hands. Folding forward. Inhaling halfway. Shoulders open. Back flat. Exhale. Release the belly onto the thighs. Full forward fold. Inhale. Come up. Urdhva Hastasana. Extended hand pose. And release it back down. Let's finish the last flow. with warrior poses starting the day strong inhale open up 
come down, chair pose, Utkatasana, flow with the twist if you wish to, or just stay in a squat, maybe try to go a little deeper this time, inhaling, exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana, inhale, halfway, exhale, release, let's take the left foot back, release the heel out, so your back heel, and the front, then one straight line, as you rise up with the front knee bent, warrior one, Vira Padra Ashwana one. Hips remain pointing forward, breathe, open the chest up, and slowly open the back hip up, warrior two, looking over your front middle finger, breathing in and out. Let's reverse this warrior on the next breath, releasing the back hand towards your back knee, and exhale, frame the front foot, turn the back foot in. Option to add a chaturanga as you kick back, coming down halfway for the rest of us. Maybe you want to flow through Bhujangasana, Cobra, if you're not feeling bond that way. And let's all move back in down dog, Adho Mukha Shwanasana. So demonstrating Cobra, Bhujangasana again. Exhale. Down dog. Kick back with the right foot. Bring it forward. Breathe. Bring the left foot in. Exhale. Inhale halfway. Exhale. Release it at the end. This time, let's take the right foot back as you open it out, keeping the front knee bent, taking it to the other side. Vira one, warrior one. Extending up. As you root down, extend the arms out, open the back foot out, show it from the other side. As you look over your left index finger, strong and steady, Veera Bhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Release the back hand down as you float the front hand up. Breathe, reversing this warrior, and exhale, frame the front foot. Sit back. Slide forward, plank, chaturanga, halfway, Udva, Mukhashwanasana, up dog, exhale, down dog. If you've taken the cobra, again watch both the variations. Back goes down first, or you're going down to the chest first, sliding up, and everyone's kneeling back in down dog, Adho, Mukhashwanasana. The last down dog, make the most of it, maybe even close your eyes. If you want to have some fun with it, maybe cross the ankle over the opposite knee, down dog to the four. And just release the foot, crossing legs in your down dog. Taking it over to the other side. If at any point of time you're starting to feel tired, Always the option of coming back down in child's pose, resting your butt on your heel and your forehead on the mat and in your fist. Pedal the dog out and look forward. Tippy toe your feet or hop to the front of the mat and slowly, gently start to roll up one breath at a time. No rush, standing tall. Three, two, one. Exhale, centering yourself. Breathe back in Tadasana. Let's extend the palms out as we come down to sit. Once again, if this feels too much for your ankles at any point of time, just use your hands and come down to sit comfortably. If you're with me, go down at your own pace. Balancing, bringing the palms to heart center, knees facing forward, maybe even closing your eyes, ankles, toes together. Breathe, pause, slowly release your hands to one side, come to sit. Let's extend one leg out and cross the knee over, cross the foot over. Maybe you want to bring the opposite foot in. 
breathing in and out, ending the practice with feet of twist, inhaling up, exhaling, releasing the right hand back, so the right knee is in front, the same side hand goes back, and stretch the front hand out, a few options here, you can hook the elbow, keep the palm facing up as you rotate back, you can hug in a little tighter, reach for the opposite knee, or reach for the opposite ankle, breathe, inhale, exhale, use the exhale to rotate a little deeper, inhale, come back in, fold one knee over the other, stretch up and circle down, giving yourself a hug, but also using this moment to start to cool down, rest in your breath, rest in your mind, Enjoying the relaxation as you prepare for the day ahead. Open up, breathe, smile, and let's take it to the other side. Maybe keep the leg extended if you wish to, as you cross the knee over, or bring the foot back in. Once again, keep both the buttocks grounded, the front knees hugging in, inhaling, exhaling. So left knee, left hand goes back, the right elbow comes around, hand across the knee, outside the knee, on your opposite knee, or reaching for the ankle as you rotate back. Once again, no slouching, sit up tall, and twist. Breathe, in, 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 and gently. Let's get out of this pose, stretching the right hand up, stacking the knees once again, and folding forward, breathe. Remember child's pose, filling the spine with the breath, with relaxation. Pause, rise. Inhale, exhale, release it out. Let's extend both legs out. Sitting tall, Dandasana, staff pose. As you inhale, empty the belly out. Sit up high. Maybe you want to roll, use a towel or a blanket under you to make you help you go deeper, further, releasing down. Reaching for your toes if it feels too much. Bend at the knees, just slide the hands down. You can rest your head on top of the knees. Your chin, head, nose, as feel comfortable. Breathing in and out, or reach for your toes, or reach for the middle of your feet, as feels good. Breathing in, exhaling out. Slowly, imagine that you're standing up, starting to roll back up one vertebra at a time. Seven. the crossing of your legs as to where you started and let's meet back to close the practice bringing the thumb and index fingers together feeling the circle of energy gently closing your eyes maybe you also want to rub your palms put them on top of your eyes enjoying this heat this energy generated by this beautiful practice Pressing the palms together, Anjali Mudra onto your heart, opening up onto your belly, and slowly get the palms to face out, spreading this energy out, and exhaling, bringing it back in on top of your knees, thumb and index fingers together. this happiness through this practice this morning to your work, to your life, to your friends, family, co-workers, everyone around you. I hope 
you can also share your stories, your journeys as we grow and flow together. And I look forward to seeing you soon again. Bye.